Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do an updated reading for the sign of Libra. I know you guys have been waiting not so patiently for your reading. Some of you have, some of you haven't. Um, I can only work so much. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm working like crazy, so please bear with me as I work through my schedule. Um, in April, it won't be like this because I don't have any more private readings. I've cut them right off. So, what do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra for an updating, updated uh, energy, updated reading for the rest of March? What do we have for Libra? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. Something, uh, you know, the difficulty is over because I see a rainbow. So, rainbow comes after a storm. So, it's like the difficulty is over for you, whatever that means. Um... The Fool. The Fool. Starting fresh. Starting with a clean slate. So you are going to be starting on a new chapter of your life. This is a brand new beginning. This is. Okay. This is a brand new beginning. This is an exciting time. You're being called to take a risk and step forward in blind faith. It may be a little scary, but you are not. You're supposed to just leave that fear behind you. You're also leaving something else behind because the fool steps into new territory, not bringing the past with him. Not much. Yes, he keeps the experiences, but he's starting with a clean slate. And to start with a clean slate, you can't bring that with you. You can't bring the, those things with you or that life or the, whatever. Okay, so you have a new beginning here. Okay, something may happen spur of the moment. Okay, there could be a spur of a mo spur of the moment life change. Okay, now this is a card of freedom as well. You're free. You're free to do whatever you want. You're free to go wherever you want. Uh, this is a new beginning for you. So you have a new beginning here, Libra. It's beautiful too. Okay, it's beautiful. There's a rainbow as well. So the storm is over. Interesting. The storm is definitely over. It's like, you know, if you notice, I see the life, uh, I think that's a life vest. I mean, you can look at it in multiple different ways. It's like you've survived something. You've survived something that was probably very turbulent. Some of you are um, moving. You're moving. Blossoming. Ooh, Two of Swords. Now the Two of Swords is blocking emotions. You may have some double loyalty here. You're, you may be a little unsure. You may be unable to open yourself up completely, protecting yourself. You may not be seeing a situation clearly. Something is probably being eclipsed out of your life or it has been eclipsed out of your life and you may be having a hard time accepting it. Um, I think it's very troublesome right now. You're probably stuck in your thoughts. You may be stuck in your mind. You, on one hand, you want to let this go. On the other hand, you don't. Ooh, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't doesn't have to be. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be an Aries. This is uh, no plan. Something not working out. There's some sort of a jealousy here or somebody that is acting irresponsible they're unfaithful um, not qualified you may be dealing with somebody that is unemployed or they just got unemployed mm -hmm. there's a lack of financial goals you could be dealing with somebody who doesn't have a lot of financial goals or doesn't have a lot of money Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords reversed is, uh, now this is poor planning. Somebody did not plan effectively. There may have been an abrupt ending that forces a new beginning. Some, somebody may have, may be getting fired. They may be losing their job or losing money or something. You didn't plan for it, but this allows you to start on a new chapter, to start something new, to get creative. Because the, this is very creative. You notice the paint. Whenever you see paint, it's about creativity. So you, you're you starting a new creative endeavor. Okay, you're starting from scratch. But it's good, but it may be a little uneasy. You may be a little, you know, unnerved about it. You may be like, oh, I'm not so sure about this. Um, 
there's a financial loss here as well. There's a financial loss. Um, somebody may have may be getting let go or something like that, or there could be an ending. Because, and it could be a sudden ending. It looks like Ten of Swords reversed could be. It's it's like a death. Okay, it's like a near death experience or a death. It's like the worst has happened. Now you have to go through some sort of recovery. So you may be feeling like you need to isolate yourself. Um, we could even have some chronic health problems here with these two cards. Um, you could be feeling like you are under a lot of pressure. Queen of Cups reverse. Now, this is somebody that lacks emotion. I don't know if you're dealing with this person or this is you. This is deep sadness and heartbreak, disappointed. There's definitely jealousy with these, these two cards. So somebody may be jealous over... Um, something that has ended, you know, uh, needing to accept it, really having a time, somebody, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, is having a hard time accepting that something is over. It's very emotional. There could be a lot of tears. Somebody's having a hard time mastering their emotions right now. Um, we have a self-image problem here with these two cards as well. Somebody has a self-image problem. They're, they're not... Um, there's a lack of self-love, put it that way. Um, that Ten of Swords reversed, it's like beyond help. You could be dealing with a feminine or, it's, or it could be you. This is beyond help. could be a masculine as well. It's like this, there's, there's, there's... This person, it could be malicious. This person, um... Maybe wicked, um, drowning in their emotions. Somebody may be drowning in their emotions here. Oh my God, it's over a contract that has ended, a relationship. Uh, you know, somebody is not seeing clearly. They may be living in some sort of fantasy land, definitely. If this is the end of a contract. There's disharmony in a partnership. There's a disconnection and there's detachment. Something is coming to an end or it has come to an end. Self-love is definitely needed. It's like nobody com nobody completes you, you complete you. Did you hear that part? Nobody completes you, you complete you. You complete you. So I feel like we have somebody here that is blocking the truth, refusing to accept the truth, refusing to acknowledge the truth. They are dealing with somebody that um, they may think is their soulmate, but it's, it's not. I'm sorry. You know, this is like being terminated, being let go. And if it's not a soulmate, it could have to do with another contract. This contract is up. There's definitely some tears. There is tears. There is sadness. There is heartbreak here. A lot of disappointment. There's disappointing. It's disappointing. Um, it's a disappointing split by the looks of things. It's not compatible. Something is not compatible. It's a broken relationship of some sort. But refusing to move on. Reluctant to take a new approach. So we have somebody here that is having a very hard time letting go of something that has already ended. It's like you're free. You're free to do whatever you want, but you need to open up. You need to accept. You know, if it's, if, if it's gone, it's gone. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. So it's like we have a separation here that was very painful and somebody that is refusing to accept it. They're refusing to move on. But it's a dead end. It's a dead end. It's very, very, very exhausting. Somebody is isolating themselves and they're in the, it's like there's increasing health issues because of the denial, because of the frustration, you know. So, we have um, somebody that is having a hard time choosing, 
or having a hard time. It's a painful choice. It's like there's a new, there's a change, there's an opportunity here. Because like we, what we got is a wheel of fortune on the bottom. So this is a change of events. So, and this is a choice, okay? You can choose to focus on this false contract because this is a false contract. This is a false contract over here. So there's a false contract. You, and there's a choice here. Or you can choose to let it end. There's another opportunity. There's an opportunity for two people to come together. It's like we have a masculine here that has his eye on a feminine. This feminine is stable. She is hardworking. She is loyal. She is capable. He is interested in her. He is very interested in her. But it's like the choice is in your hands. It's like you have to make a choice here. What do you want to do? Do you want to choose to keep pretending that this is some sort of soulmate? And get no reciprocation and stay stuck in that troubled situation? Or do you want to let it go and open up and come out of this period of isolation and come together with somebody that is, uh, could potentially bring passion and growth and, you know, the sees your value? You know what I mean? So I feel like we have a, a change of events. This is good luck. This is something good coming your way. Okay? Something good is being brought into your life. Okay? Positive change is coming. But this is also a card of free will. It's like somebody is, has been blocking a new beginning. Okay? Somebody has... This is blocking. Okay? They have been blocking a new by, beginning by... Uh, not accepting that something is completely over. There is something new here. We have a new beginning here. It's like you have an opportunity to take a risk and step into a new life with somebody else. That's what I see. So we have somebody that is taking action. This guy is taking action. He sees a golden opportunity. He does. He wants it. He wants it. I feel like this is a soulmate connection. I do. I feel that in my gut. But we, but we, I don't know if it's you. Yeah, I do. I think it's you. I think it's you that needs to um, take a risk. You need to take a risk. You need to step in the new territory and leave the baggage in the past. Whatever it is that you have been holding on to, leave it in the past. Please leave it in the past. I feel like... Um, I don't know if there's like a death, you know, because this could be a death and this could be a death. And somebody could be holding on to something that has already died. Everything happens for a reason. You think about that wheel of fortune. Life is always changing. It's always changing. We do have a major new beginning here for you, Libra. I know that we do. One phase of your life is over. It has ended. It's time for you, and if you think about, when, when you think about, she's like, in a lot of these world cards and other decks, she's, she's, she's slightly looking back at the past, but she's moving forward. It's time to move forward into the future. You have a brand new life, a brand new you. You are about to uh, step into new territory where, uh, someplace you've never been before. Okay, this is uh, a lesson has been learned. That phase of your life is over. Um, and that phase, whatever it was, it was something that was very prominent to you. Somebody that something that taught you a good, a uh, huge lesson, a huge lesson. Um, I think that you are completing a cycle and you are beginning a new one starting this month, starting right away. Probably, you know, something that in the next 10 days could have something to do with the 21st. I don't know. This is a major new beginning that you are being given. This is victory after sorrow. So something sorrowful has happened or it, you know, is going to happen that is going to lead you um, into a new life. I mean, I know that's hard to fathom, but this starts your new chapter. It, it starts your new journey, okay? The world and the fool, this, is, this puts you at a whole new level put it that way. You're at a whole new level now. You're a whole new person. This is a major, major new beginning for you. Major. So, um, for some of you, you're traveling, you're moving to a better place. Um, you're building someplace else. 
the difficulty is over. Things are about to get better. I think things are going to get better really, 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 really fast. I do. I think things are going to get better, better really fast as long as you open up your eyes. Stop holding on to what you've been holding on to and stop being stagnant. You've been stagnant for a while. You've been stuck in some sort of false contract, okay? Something that wasn't compatible, having a, a very hard time mastering of emotions. And if this isn't you, it's somebody that you've been dealing with, okay? But now it's like, it's like taking action to go after something stable. So, you know, this is somebody that is devoted and loyal and hardworking. And uh, so we do have a masculine that is going over somebody that can actually, you know, take care of them. Um, this person is grounded. Valuable has something valuable to offer. And this whoever this person is that if you are the feminine watching this sees your value. They see your value. It could be a fire sign. If this if you are the if you are the feminine watching this, you have a masculine that that um is definitely very 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 interested in you. This guy wants to protect you. He's a protector. He's noble. He's passionate. He really wants you to give him a chance. And I think that he's noble. I do. I think that he's noble. It doesn't matter what sign he is. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it could be any sign. Um, we do have a woman of value that is being pursued here. And I think the pursuer is very genuine. So this guy is going to pursue this feminine because she knows her value. She's worth it. She is definitely worth it. So, um, it's about equal give and take. This person is not, it's not going to be a one-sided situation. It's going to be equal. Okay? It is going to be equal. Somebody, you can, you can consider this a blessing or a gift. So Libra, I feel as though a comf a comf comfort is coming, okay? Something very comfortable. I don't know if you're getting an inheritance or you're getting some money or something, but this is something very comfortable. Financial success, okay? This is, this is long-term, uh, this is a long-term relationship. This is building a home with somebody. Starting a family. There could be a change in the family legacy, okay? There could be a change in the family legacy here this month. I feel like we, we have somebody that is deciding, because this king is very decisive. He is deciding to take away. He's deciding to take away and give to somebody else. He is. So, um... I feel like we, we have this masculine that is exhausted and fed up. He's exhausted and fed up with being blocked. You know, with being blocked, with ignoring the truth. Or being ignored or something like that. And it feels like he's about to take action and make some sort of offer to this, to this feminine who is valuable. Okay, very, very, very valuable. She's, she's a mother. She's devoted. She's kind. She's... She's uh, caring, she's nurturing, she's grounded, she's stable. She, anyway, but there's a, some sort of loss here. Somebody is being, because the, the Page of Pentacles, that's being let go, okay? Somebody's being, because then this is taking from one and giving to the other. So I feel like there's, there's somebody that is being let go. There's And there's an exchange. Somebody is choosing to give. And I don't know if it's money. It could be money. Somebody could be... It could be a job. I, I don't know. It's like they're choosing to stop giving to this and give to this one. So be prepared for that. Um, we have this one over here. That can't master her emotions. This is a nasty individual who is uses emotional blackmail and keeps people in trouble. It's just a troublemaker. We have a troublemaker over here. 
this troublemaker is losing some sort of contract, being split, being um, maybe suffering some consequences for some sort of betrayal. Anyway, Libra, I think that you are about to uh, step into a new chapter of your life and it feels like you didn't even expect it. It happens spur of the moment. I feel like this is something that you did not expect. You did not see it coming. You didn't think that you were going to get this gift and here it is. Good luck.